What is up, Mustard Packets? Okay, so uh, what you're watching here, you're watching some Operation Metro Rush. Now, I know a lot of you guys out there and a lot of people really don't like Operation Metro, uh, be it Rush or Conquest, but I really, really like Operation Metro Rush. Um, it's a good mix of openness in the first stage and tight, close quarters as you go through the subway station. I, I really enjoy it. Now, we do get stopped at the last MCOM here, but I had a really good round and uh, it was a pretty good fight the whole way through. So I'd like to start things off and do a giveaway. Uh, I want to give away a copy of Arma 3. I've come across an extra copy recently and I wanted to share it with you guys. Now, in order to win, I'm going to require that you be a member over at my website. That's barbaricmustard.com. Uh, it's a community that I set up for you guys to, to chit-chat and, and get to know each other and, and get to chit-chat with me a little bit. And uh, it's really, it's been a lot of fun hanging out with people there. And uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it too. So get signed up over there. And I'm going to need you to send me a private message saying, I want Arma 3. Now, there's a reason I'm asking you guys to jump through a few hoops in order to win this game is uh, a lot of you guys that are subscribed to me are console players exclusively. And now Arma 3 is a PC game. They are not releasing it for Xbox, for PlayStation 3, or even the, uh, the next-gen Xbox and PlayStation. So unfortunately, if you don't have a PC, you're not going to be able to play this game. And also, uh, in some of my previous giveaways, I've tried to give away copies of games, and it turns out, well, you already had the game, so I don't want to make that mistake again. Uh, it's a pain in the butt sometimes to try to go back and correct things, so I want to make sure whoever gets picked this time uh, gets the game that they want and gets to play it. So with this copy of Arma 3, you'll have access to the alpha immediately, meaning you can go straight into Steam and download the alpha and start playing it now. You'll get access to the beta when it comes out, and you'll have the full game uh, upon release. Uh, I think it's scheduled to release sometime this fall, if I remember. Uh, but in the you know bit of time that I've had playing Arma 3, uh, I've really enjoyed it. It's a lot of fun. They've made a lot of significant changes from Arma 2, and hopefully whoever wins it will get a good time playing it. Okay, so many of you guys already know, and for those of you who don't know, uh, I've recently moved. I moved from Austin, Texas to Houston, Texas over this last week. Now, I moved from Houston to Austin two years ago uh, for work, and unfortunately... My wife had to stay in Houston for the duration of that move. So being back in Houston is a huge deal and I am super, super happy to be here. Now with the move is going to come some changes, uh, maybe subtle changes, maybe really super obvious changes uh, in my channel, how I release content and what kind of content I'm actually releasing. Now I know in a recent video that I put out, a recent commentary that is, uh, I mentioned that the focus of my channel may be shifting from from Battlefield over to the Arma series, which at the time I had been playing a metric shit ton of. But I think I'm going to rescind that comment or that, uh, that goal of my channel anyway, uh, in light of a couple things. Uh, number one being the eminent release of Battlefield 4 uh, sometime later this year. That definitely uh, gave me a renewed sense of excitement for Battlefield 3 and, and just Battlefield in general. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a really, really well-balanced, really good game, and I, I thoroughly enjoy playing it, and, and I'd almost forgotten that uh, with all the time I was putting into other games like Arma. Um, and then that's not to say that I'm not going to continue posting Arma content, which... I will. I absolutely will. I have a whole bunch of it actually saved up already, be it from DayZ or Wasteland. And I will definitely be playing more of those games. And the second point being, as I mentioned before, a lot of you guys are console players. And being console players, you may have a difficult time relating uh, with what I'm doing in an Arma game. Uh, you might not know if what I'm doing is awesome you know, based on your experiences in the game because you have no experiences in the game. Or you just really don't care about any other game other than Battlefield 3, which is, you know, that's just fine. I was like that too. And it, with really, Battlefield's a great game. So if there's a game you're gonna just watch or just like, 
Battlefield is a good good game to do that with. And now for the last year and two, three months, something like that, I've tried really, really hard to keep up with posting anywhere from five to seven, sometimes more videos uh, every single week. And I can definitely foresee that number dropping. Uh, not down to, you know, one video a month or, or some crap like that, but maybe three, four videos a week tops. Um, uh, the reason behind this is because with my move back to Houston, that also means I'll be spending a little more time away from my computer because in Austin, I wasn't with my family. I wasn't there with my wife. I wasn't there with my stepdaughter. Uh, now that I'm in Houston, I'm, I'm hanging out with them a lot more, so I'll be away from my computer, you know, that much more. Uh, on top of that, my daily commute to work. That's changed. When I was in Austin, my commute was maybe 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes if it was if it was trafficy or whatever you want to say. Uh, now that I'm in Houston, it's taken me about oh about an hour to get to work and about an hour to get back. So that's uh, an extra hour and a half's worth of driving every single day, uh, on top of what I you know used to do. So it's definitely uh, a bit of a change, but it's it's worth it. Also, my position at work, it's completely different than what I was doing before. Uh, before, I was leading up a call center floor, which is, you know, it's nothing new to the company. We'd be doing it for uh, a very, very long time, so it was more or less maintaining, tweaking policies, procedures, and, and, and such. Right now, I'm helping to build a totally new department within the company, which is, it's exciting, but I can see that also taking up quite a bit more time than, than I'm used to. Now, the one major scheduling change or whatever I want to, you know, make right now is moving my Coffee with Mustard videos from a weekly release to a bi-weekly release, meaning I'm going to release it every two weeks. Uh, I do, you know, thoroughly enjoy answering you guys' questions over a cup of coffee, but if I'm going to drop, let's say, three videos a week uh, instead of five to six or seven videos, I think that every third video being a vlog on a gaming channel is just, uh, it's just too much. So I'm still gonna do those videos, it's just not gonna be nearly as often. Uh, I would also like to start doing uh, a few more commentaries like this, you know, albeit maybe not as lengthy of a commentary. Uh, when I first stepped in front of the microphone, it was probably a year ago, uh, to talk to you guys, I was nervous, man. I, I, I was scared as hell, and I really hated hearing the sound of my voice recorded and, and you know, flash forward to a year from now, and, yeah, I'm not, I'm not even scared to show you guys my face anymore. Uh, so, yeah, I'll probably look towards the, uh, the comments on the early questions in the Coffee with Mustard videos, maybe the ones that I didn't necessarily answer in the Coffee with Mustard videos, and make an entire commentary uh, about those so be sure you guys are you know leaving the comments leaving the questions there leave them here uh, really I'll try to you know look through all my sources be it comments here comments on Facebook comments on Twitter uh, on my website over at barbaricmustard.com and give me some good ideas to talk about guys I'm interested in knowing what you want to hear I would also like to take a moment and amend a review I made of the Aver Media Live Gamer HD capture card uh, that I did uh, several months back. Initially, I stated that there was a lack of a higher bit rate on the uh, recording quality, meaning uh, how much information was sent or saved at once of your videos. Uh, for those of you who don't know, the, the higher the bit rate, the higher the quality of the video. And my concern was really directly with the ARMA games. There was so much information visually being delivered by the games that the card was having trouble keeping up in 1080p. It just looked bad. Now, a few weeks back, Aver Media released an update to their software that you use to record with the capture card. That update tripled the bitrate that you could record with in both 1080p and in 720p. And really, the quality that I get from the card now is right on par with what I was getting with DX Story. It was right on par with what I was getting with Fraps, especially after YouTube compresses the crap out of everything. And the file size is just a fraction. I, I can save so much more video with it. Now, I know a lot of you guys purchased the Live Gamer HD card uh, based on my opinion of it. So I'm going to put a link in the description below as to where you can get this new updated software. And hopefully you guys can experience the vastly improved video quality that I have. 
Now I get to play around pretty soon with a new toy from Avery Media. I'm going to be getting the Live Gamer Portable here in the next week or two. So be on the lookout. I'm going to be reviewing it. And it's basically it's just a portable version of the internal card that I have now from Avery Media with a few added features like being able to save to a memory card if you don't have any hard drive space left. Okay, yeah, so that's all I have for today, guys. So have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. Whatever time it happens to be, wherever you guys happen to be, and take care, guys.